We are a group of 12th dimensional beings who are dedicated to the process of helping the earth go into the golden era. For you personally, as humans, there is much clearing that needs to be done of what is not functional, of what is deep, dense energies that are inside you and old beliefs and dogma that keep you from expanding into the fifth dimensional being that you came here to be. There is a link through the DNA carrying the signature of those dense energies and that trauma, which then affects all the living descendants. We choose to come in and assist with the clearing of all the emotional poo, if you will, that is left behind even after people have transitioned. Welcome to Becoming Awesome with Tracy Jector, channeling the light vessels for ancestral clearing. Hello, my name is Tracy Jector, and welcome to another Becoming Awesome channel. Today's topic is going to be ancestral clearing. I know this was something that as I started to give sessions came up often and I had questions. I had questions for the team. I mean, part of me understood kind of like honoring the ancestors and what they went through, but I also thought, well, they've already crossed over. So they're really not suffering anymore. So why is it that they need clearing? Is it just about the descendants? Is there something else we're doing here? And especially because when I chose to do these in clearings for people, I could feel an enormous number of beings of light and love show up each time we set the intention to clear ancestral lineage. And so today I will be opening the mic to my sacred higher self and um, all these beings of love and light who love to do ancestral clearing work, and I'm going to let them explain it to you further. We are so grateful to have this opportunity to speak with you and of what we do. We are a group of 12th dimensional beings who are dedicated to the process of helping the earth go into the golden era. One aspect of that you hear often in the Becoming Awesome channel, which is to clear, clear, clear. So for you personally, as humans, there is much clearing that needs to be done of what is not functional, of what is deep, dense energies that are inside you and old beliefs and dogma that keep you from expanding into the five, fifth dimensional being that you came here to be. However, there are other levels at play in terms of moving the entire planet into the 5D consciousness. So ancestral clearing is a part of that. So yes, even though the channel Tracy was correct, the ancestors have already crossed over back into the oneness field. They are fine, but they see how the experience that they had while they were on the earth, the suffering, the trauma, whatever it was to the particular lineage that's being cleared, leaves a residue, an emotional, dense residue where they had lived. Secondarily, equally important, but also, there is a link through the DNA carrying the signature of those dense energies and that trauma, which then affects all the living descendants. So we choose to come in and assist with the clearing of all the emotional poo, if you will, that is left behind even after people have transitioned. 
We are certain that many of you have had this experience of walking in some place, and even though there's no evidence that you can see with your eyes or pick up with any of your senses as to why you should feel concerned or in fear or just uncomfortable, you know that there's something in the environment where you just stepped into that is affecting you at some level. And yes, this is true. You have this beautiful compass of the gut that actually senses the energy, the frequency of people, places, and things surrounding you. So when you step into a place where there's still some emotional residue of a trauma or, um, uh, well, trauma is really the best word, um, you will sense it. Now, of course, sometimes it can also be dense um, entities that are there in the field. But for today's topic, we will just stick with the fact that there will have been something where you were in the past that occurred that is leaving this residue that you are picking up and why you feel uncomfortable in certain places. So there is a lot of this left on the planet. We just exited a very dark period, right? The Iron Age. And people did not treat each other well. And there was a lot of power over and control of others. And people were made to live very subsistence level lives, where they did not get to experience a lot of joy. And they had a lot of suffering, working long, hard hours, or sometimes being invaded or conquered by other um, neighboring warriors or beings who wanted to overtake their lands or whatever. These are the kinds of things that can happen. It can be spiritual persecution, political persecution, and even those who were those who were in control and dominating others often during their lifetime have an increase in consciousness that allows them to see the suffering they have caused others or if not, certainly once they have crossed over and review their lives and get to experience all the things that they cause to others. So, we show up for these ancestral clearings because in the atmosphere, this is affecting everyone on your planet and affecting your ability to go into the golden era as well as what we spoke of before, there is some kind of connection that runs through the DNA over generations and generations where the living ancestry, even if they don't notice it, even if they don't particularly feel it, it is affecting them at some level. And for others, it is affecting them at a deep, deep level. One other thing we would say this isn't always the case, but we know that the channel Tracy has been very surprised sometimes when she has been doing a reading for someone and in the process of an ancestral clearing to come to understand that a former self was also alive and part of the ancestry that is being cleared. And this is sometimes the motivation as someone is choosing to embody back on planet Earth, to say, I want to have a say-so. I want to have an ability to help clean up what was left behind. It's from where they're at. They can sense it. They can feel this residue, and they can see the effect on the living descendants. So that is why we wish to encourage any of you who sense that, yeah, maybe there is some connection, or even if you just know from speaking with grandparents or the stories of the great grandparents or whatever it was that happened, it could even occur that maybe you were reading something and you, some part of you inside was like, wow, I think I was there. I think I also experienced this. This feels so real to me when I'm reading about this history or walking in this place that I've traveled to. 
I can feel that something happened here and I would like to clear this. So you now know we exist. We don't have a set name, but you can just call us the light vessels for ancestral clearing. You can call on us. There are many, many of us who serve in this um, particular way. So set your intent for what it is you would like to clear around your ancestry. Invite us in and then give us all permission to go do this clearing work. You will assist not only yourself and the living, other living descendants, but all of humanity for moving into the golden era if you choose to do this. Thank you for any way you choose to participate. We are in awe of all of humanity, what you have undertaken, and what you are evolving into here. Blessed are you. We are so grateful to serve in this way. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I had never really even asked their names before. I had just called on beings of love and light, but I kind of like that. <laughs> the vessels of those who serve to do ancestral clearing. Anyway, I hope that you learned something here today. I have to tell you that um, uh, for both myself and any clients who sign up to do this, we are often in tears. It is an extraordinary experience connecting to the ancestry, offering them empathy for what they went through. If we can find that in our in the field with us, we invite the experience of knowing what was going on when they, you know, had their trauma and their suffering, and so that we know that and we can give them gratitude. And even if we don't pick up any of that, we know that we owe them our lives, that they went through all of the suffering and survived so that they could have um, people who survived what was going on and create new lineage and more and more and more descendants all the way through us. And we're also going to feel more free, lighter, for having done this clearing for them. Thank you for listening, and many blessings until I see you again.